Hello friends, welcome to my channel Zenith Gadget and Tech. Today I am here with a new video. 5G. What is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation of mobile networks. A significant evaluation of today's 4G LTE networks. 5G has been designed to meet the very large growth in data and connectivity of today's modern society. The Internet of Things with billions of connected devices and tomorrow's innovations. 5G will initially operate in conjunction with existing 4G networks before evolving to fully standalone networks in subsequent releases and coverage expansions. In addition to delivering faster connections and greater capacity, a very important advantage of 5G is Fast response time referred to as latency. Latency is the time taken for a device to respond to each other over the wireless network. 3G networks had a typical response time of 100 milliseconds. 4G is around 30 milliseconds and 5G will be as low as 1 millisecond. This is virtually opening up a new world of connected applications. 5G will enable instantaneous connectivity to billions of devices, the Internet of Things and a truly connected world. 5G will provide the speed, low latency and connectivity to enable a new generation of applications, services and business opportunities that have not been seen before. Three major categories of use case for 5G, massive machine-to-machine -machine communications, ultra reliable low latency communications and third one is enhanced mobile broadband most operators will initially integrate 5g networks with existing 4g networks to provide a continuous connection 5g networks architect illustrating 5g and 4g working together with central and local servers providing faster content to users and low latency applications a mobile network has two main components, the radio network and the core network. Most operators will initially integrate 5G networks with existing 4G networks to provide a continuous connection. 5G networks architect illustrating 5G and 4G working together with central and local servers providing faster content to users and low latency applications. A mobile network has two main components, the radio network and the core network. 5G networks are designed to work in conjunction with 4G networks using a range of macro cells, small cells and dedicated in-building systems. Small cells are mini base stations designed for very localized coverage typically from 10 meters to a few hundred meters providing infill for a larger macro network. Small cells are essential for the 5G networks as the millimeter wave frequencies have a very short connection range. In many countries, the initial frequency bands for 5G are below 6 GHz. In many cases, in the 3.3 to 3.8 GHz bands and similar frequencies to existing mobile and Wi-Fi networks. Additional mobile spectrum above 6 GHz including the 26 to 28 GHz bands, often referred to as millimeter wave, will provide significantly more capacity compared to the current mobile technologies. The additional spectrum and greater capacity will enable more users, more data and faster connections. It is also expected that there will be future reuse of existing low band spectrum for 5G as legacy networks decline in usage and to the support feature use cases. The increased spectrum in the millimeter wave band will provide localized coverage as they only operate over short distances. Future 5G diplomats may use millimeter frequencies in bands up to 86 GHz. Massive MIMO Multiple element base station Greater capacity, multiple users, foster data 5G will use massive MIMO, multiple input, multiple output antennas 
that have very large numbers of antenna elements or connections to send and receive more data simultaneously. The benefit to users is that more people can simultaneously connect to the network and maintain high throughput. The overall physical size of the 5G massive MIMO antennas will be similar to 4G. However, with a higher frequency, the individual antenna element size is smaller allowing more elements in excess of 100 in the same physical case. 5G user equipment including mobile phones and devices will also have MIMO antenna technology built into the device for the millimeter wave frequencies. Beam steering is a technology that allows the massive MIMO base station antennas to direct the radio signal to the users and device rather than in all directions. The beam steering technology use advanced signal processing algorithms to determine the best path for the radio signal to reach the user. This increases efficiency as it reduces interference unwanted radio signals. Massive MIMO antenna and advanced beam steering optimize EMF and increases efficiency.